Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Clary and I'm your transformational nutrition coach. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys another recipe. I don't do this very often, but I'm getting better at it, getting more creative. <laughs> and so before I shared with you guys my um, super simple, sexy recipe of papaya banana. And today it is going to be watermelon basil. So super simple. Grab your watermelon, put it in the refrigerator because you want it nice and chilled and delicious and refreshing. So once it gets nice and chilled, take it out of the refrigerator, cut it in half and get scoop in it and throw it into your blender, okay? My blender is a Vitamix blender and it holds up to eight cups. So I literally fill it up all the way to the eight cup mark. You're gonna want to too because this is so delicious and so yummy. And then um, for mine, I did one cup of water. And then I just threw in a handful of basil. Okay, don't freak out with a handful thinking, like what, like, t is that 10 leaves of basil? Like, what is that? Is that a cup or like a half a cup? What, what's a handful? It's just a handful, I don't know. <laughs> I would say like 15 leaves, but don't stress about it. You're not gonna ruin the smoothie, okay? Throw it in, let it blend for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once it's done, you're gonna throw it into your beautiful cup, and this is what it is. And as you're gonna notice, this isn't really smoothie smoothie like. It's kind of more like a juice because obviously watermelon has more water. But it's still technically a smoothie because all the fibers are still in there, which are good, good, good for you to get you flowing, to get you going, right? And so the reason why this is so delicious is because of the basil. The basil's bitter and earthiness just actually complements the sweetness of the watermelon so much that it actually brings out more of the sweetness in the watermelon. So it's just so good. And then um, what you want to add at the very end is either a dash of hemp seeds at the top or you know maybe a teaspoon of chia seeds to add and let it soak for 10 minutes until it becomes like a little jelly. And this is because you do have some green in your smoothie. And whenever you eat something green, you do need some sort of fat with your meal. And this is why I'm, um, you need some fat to be able to get the fat-soluble vitamins, okay? So um, definitely remember to add some of that fat and then drink on up. I have this every single day. It's so good. And I want to hear what you guys think, if you guys made it or if you guys had it before, how much you love it, or if you have any other recipes you'd like to share with us please put it in the comments below. If you like this video, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe. Um, I have so much to talk to you guys about how to get fulfilled, how to become soulful and satisfied and beyond happy in your life, okay? If you have any questions, you can also reach me at connect at jennyclary.net. Once again, that's connect at jennyclary.net. Once again, comments below, subscribe, and like. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.